In this video, we build the cheapest electric boat that money can DIY. Hey everybody, AJ here, and welcome to the first official video of the Eagle Ray channel where we do all things DIY electric boats. Marine motors, batteries, solar panels, you name it, if it's got volts and it's on a boat, you're in the right place. Recently, I moved to Lake Havasu because I wanted to fulfill that lifelong dream of being near a big body of water so that I could get out on a boat regularly. Only problem was, I didn't have a boat when I got here. Now, I've since begun the process of acquiring several boats so that we can use all of them for making videos on this channel. But the very first boat that I wanna show off is one that we're gonna to build together ourselves. Even if your budget is extremely tight, like 2K tight, you can build this boat in a weekend. Hey everybody, Future AJ here. Just thought I'd drop in and let you know that that guy has no idea what he's getting himself into. I thought this project was gonna be done in one episode. Turns out it's gonna take several episodes. So this week we are just gonna build the deck and then next week we are going to put that deck on the water for the first time. So get yourself some popcorn and get comfortable because you're about to watch this guy make every mistake in the book. <laughs> Now, if your budget is that tight, then you do have to get creative. For example, they sell these at Home Depot here in Lake Havasu. I went to pick up some other supplies for the build and seeing these gave me an idea. I tried to build a boat made of hardware store supplies last year. It really didn't go well because it involved fiberglass and fiberglass is really finicky unless you have a lot of experience with it. I might try my hand at fiberglass again one day, but right now I really want something simpler. What about this though? My new boat could sit on top of plastic pontoons slash kayaks slash pontoons. They're either. They're both, why not? <laughs> That'll be way easier than building a fiberglass hull from scratch. With two of these kayaks, it's kind of perfect because they're the same length as a plywood sheet and they have these four scupper holes in a rectangular shape so we can run rigging lines through those and then lash both of them to the deck above. So they kind of become this uh, mini pontoon boat. A yak tune. Now I know a lot of you probably don't have cheap kayaks at your local Home Depot, but you can find great deals on these online. Eight feet is kind of too small for adults and too big for kids. That's why it's the size they tend to blow out with low prices pretty often. See this Pelican eight footer is only 30 bucks more than what I paid at Home Depot. It doesn't have the same scupper holes as mine, but it does have some holes and a grab handle to tie onto. I'll link this one in the description. I bought two of these bare bones, basic eight foot kayaks and together they can support about 450 pounds, which is not a lot, but we'll add a little bit more buoyancy on top of that using these. I bought these 10 foot PVC pipes at four inch diameter. I think we'll cut these down to eight feet so that they fit under the deck. These are gonna act as spacers between the deck and the hulls, but we can seal them at either end to make them waterproof for more buoyancy. We can't have the deck too close to the water. These kayaks have a very shallow draft and two of them will handle the weight that we're putting on top, but just barely. So under decent motor speed, their noses are likely to take on water as they kind of dip down. But that's okay because the PVC is gonna carry us four inches above that. Before we start chopping things up, I ordered 50 feet of rigging lines and four plastic cleats. This boat is going to be super light, so I don't think we're going to need any steel hardware to tie off at the dock. But while we're at it, I need a few other things as well, including nav lights and retractable wheels. I would have ordered this EVA foam decking as well, but I already have plenty extra on hand from another upcoming project. So without further ado, let's build stuff. This piece is gonna become the stringers, but Home Depot gave an extra eight inches on top of the eight feet we had. So I'm gonna cut off that eight inches, plus I need to cut off six inches from each side to make room for the pontoons. Now I wanna make the deck a little bit more aesthetically pleasing than just a straight up rectangle. So I'm gonna be chopping six inch corners off of the bow here and over there.
gonna get a fresh one. <laughs> a much bigger cut than I wanted. Uh, did I mention this is my first time ever using a jigsaw? <laughs> We've got three boards, one for each side, made of two by fours. I need to mark and then cut these so that they line up with this angle. Right. Let's just test fit this PVC pipe right now. So obviously these are a little bit on the long side right now, but I'm gonna chop them right about here. I was thinking I would only have one PVC pipe on each side, and so these stringers are way too long. Better to be too long than too short, so I'm just gonna cut them down a little bit. Much better. So now we're gonna mark some pilot holes in the deck so that we can drill into the stringers from underneath without missing. I was just winging it, but we are about five and a half inches apart, which is pretty good. We're gonna get under there and make room for the heads of the screws that are about to go in there. That will allow the screws to sit flat on the deck once we flip it over. Very careful with wood screws. So easy to strip them. Whoops. time to waterproof this deck. Whatever you've got at your hardware store is probably fine. It's very convenient to use Total Boat Epoxy because they send you the two different compounds in correctly sized containers so that all you have to do is pump the number of times that it says on the container. So you pump this one five times and this one once, and then you stir with a stir stick and you're good to go. You want to have a respirator because you do not want to be breathing this in. Uh, you definitely want to have a lot of these on hand. Of course, you want a disposable container because this thing, once the resin dries inside, it's gonna be ruined. So you don't want anything permanent. So I did 20 pumps there and four pumps here. Didn't really get four full pumps. I'm gonna do a little extra. There we go. If at any moment during this process I fooled you into thinking I know what I'm doing, 
allow me to set the record straight. We put epoxy on this top deck five days ago. I thought it was gonna cure in less than a day. That's what has happened when I've used this before. I'm in a new town, maybe the humidity's different. I'm not sure what went wrong, but five days later, there's still some tack on this. The, the hardener didn't really do anything. Um, so I'm gonna switch from Total Boat, which has worked great for me in the past. I don't wanna say anything bad about this. I don't know what has gone wrong, but I'm gonna switch to regular old Bondo, which is the cheap stuff you can get at the hardware store. Still works great. Uh, I know it cures a lot faster than that stuff. Hopefully this will be cured in a couple hours. So we're gonna flip the deck and put the Bondo on the bottom, and then we'll be ready to move on to the next part after that. When you're going over a 90 degree edge like I'm about to, this stuff in particular, I don't know if the higher quality foam is any better, but this stuff has an adhesive backing that will not hold up across this edge. So what I'm gonna do is use some clamps here and here so I can get both of those angles nice and tight and I'm gonna reinforce the side with some wood glue. That's all we have time for, but I know you guys want to see this boat get out on the water, so here's a few clips of what we've got coming up in the next episode. The only thing left to do now is to weld these pieces together. Just bought this welder recently, and I have no idea how to use it. There's definitely water in there. Uh, waterproofed the transom on both kayaks. I'm a sailor. I sail. I'm sailing. Thanks for watching the first episode of the Eagle Ray channel. Subscribe and hit that bell button so you don't miss episode two. And also I'm doing a live stream every Sunday at 2 p.m. Pacific time, where right now I'm giving away this Milwaukee angle grinder as soon as we hit 1,000 subscribers. This was my first power tool, mine's hanging right over there. This is not a sponsored video, by the way. This is just my recommendation for the very first tool you should buy if you want to become a maker. So subscribe, join the giveaway, come join us in the live stream. And until then, I hope that you boat safe and enjoy your time on the water. <laughs>